Hey everyone, it's Lindsay with Felt Flower Designs. Today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial to make these really easy uh, petal long stems. These can be used as filler or to add additional color or depth or height to many different arrangements. Um, first thing first, I always recommend using a wool blend felt. The felt tends to hold its shape a little bit better. Uh, it's thicker and the color selection is much greater with a wool blend felt. Now the felt that you can buy at your local craft store that comes in pre-cut 8.5 by 11 sheets, uh, that felt is 100% polyester. Again, you can use that for any of these tutorials. I just strongly recommend a wool blend felt. Um, it tends to have a much nicer finished look to it. I recommend buying it from benzedesign.com. That's where I get all of my felt. They're extremely reasonably priced and really fast uh, shipping, great to work with. So today um, I'm going to walk through and show you how to make, um, we're going to be using this, this green one here in our example. All four of these use the exact same format that I'm going to teach you. You'll just see these ones are larger. I've cut larger petals as well as my green one is pretty um, symmetrical in how I apply the petals. Um, but these ones are a little bit more miscellaneous. It, again, it's totally personal preference. I'll show you how to do both. So to get started, first we need to cut our petals. Um, you're going to want a handful, let's call it, oh, 30 to 40 different petals. So you're going to want to take your felt and cut a petal shape, almost like a teardrop with the pointy and cut off. So and don't worry about being super exact. Flowers in nature are not perfect. Um, so there, you can see I've got two petals. So go ahead and cut out your petals. I would make oh, 35, give or take. You can always cut more if you need it and you have the leftovers, you can make more. So I've got a bunch of petals uh, cut out here. Next, you're going to want to get a wire for your stem. Um, because we're going to be attaching all of these petals to the wire, I recommend using a wire that's covered in something. This you can buy. It's wire that um, comes pre-made in a thread. I bought these on Amazon. You can also buy them at your local craft store. Um, if you don't have that, um, I would just wrap your wire in floral tape. You don't have to, but uh, hot glue doesn't tend to stick to um, the metal wire extremely well. Having it attached to this thread here will really make your um, flowers last a lot longer. So with that, uh, the first petal we put on here, bend this so you can see it, um, I'm going to show you techniques so that you don't see any of the wire poking through here. So you're going to want to take your first petal and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom here and then we're simply going to pinch it so that you can't see the wire come through. So, put a little bit of glue. Trick with the glue is less is more. Um, so I put it in and I want to pinch it closed so you can't see the wire here. And easy as that. So now what we're going to do is we're simply going to go back and forth and repeat and slowly work our way down the wire, alternating our petal location. So I did this on the opposite side, a little pinch, do this on the other side, a little pinch. Again, less is more when it comes to the glue. A little pinch. And when I'm attaching these, I'm trying to attach them to the wire. You'll see that I'm going right down to the wire there. That's just going to help so that you don't have any wire poke through. Um, as you can see, like if you kind of fluff these and flat fan them out. You can't see any wire coming through um, because I've attached all of them to the wire. Okay. 
This is the part that's up to you. You can make this as long as you want or short as you'd like. I have another tutorial that shows you if you want to do um, short little blooms, um, how to do that. So again, this is where if you want to be extremely symmetrical, I would go and make sure that you're lining up your petals very evenly back and forth to each other. Or um, if you want it to be a little more haphazard, you can kind of, instead of doing this directly opposite, you can overlap it a little bit. Again, totally personal preference. So these I've been doing kind of symmetrical. Um, I'll show you here on the next one. I'll overlap the next couple so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to overlap this a little bit. it a little bit again. So you can see it's just kind of giving you a tighter um, bloom, different effect here. Really when it comes to making felt flowers, how you attach them, how you glue your flowers together matters almost as much as the shape that you cut them in your gluing and attaching technique can vary the end outcome significantly. Um, so you'll see there, they're layered and a little bit more aligned. So again, it's your, totally your personal preference. And you simply continue doing that until it's as long as you want easy as that. This um, is a really fun flower to make. Um, you can see I like to make these and combine them with my lavender stems here that I have another tutorial that I've shown um, how to make. You can look for that on my YouTube channel. Um, but these are a great way to add additional text, uh, texture and um, color to your flower arrangements. So I hope you found this helpful. Please go ahead and leave me a, a comment with any questions that you have or let me know what other flower tutorials uh, you would like to see and I'll work on getting those up for you. Thanks.